Hey guys, Barrett here with Spec of Tech. Welcome to the channel. Today's gonna be a good video because today we are going to compare the flagship Anthem AVM90 processor to its little but still very capable brother, the Anthem AVM70. I've had both of these processors in my home theater, so we're even gonna do some demos and we will compare how each of them did when calibrating three JTR RS2 subwoofers in my room using REW measurements. I also know there will be one burning question you'll all have, is the AVM90 worth it over the AVM70? Stick around and we'll try to answer that and hopefully much more in this video. I wanna say a quick thank you to Base Electronics here in Calgary for providing great service when I purchased both the AVM70 and the AVM90. If you are in the area, you should go check them out. They are one of the few great audio businesses left here in Calgary. All right, before we compare sound demos and bass calibration, let's quickly cover the major differences between the AVM70 and the AVM90. First and foremost is the price. The Anthem AVM70 is currently 3,500 US dollars or 4,200 Canadian, and the AVM90 is 7,500 US dollars or 9,000 Canadian. So obviously there is a vast price gap uh, with these two units. So let's keep that in mind when doing this comparison. The DACs that they used in the AVM70 unit were the AKM AK4490 EQs. Anthem had intended on using the flagship AKM AK4499 EQ DACs in the AVM90, but after the notorious chip shortage, they switched to the ESS ES9038 Pro DACs. My AVM70 unit was still using HDMI 2.0, but the newer units will be shipping with HDMI 2.1, which supports 4K1 20 hertz or 8K 60 hertz. My AVM90 unit did ship with the HDMI 2.1 ports. The last major difference is that the AVM70 has two subwoofer outputs and can calibrate them independently, but the AVM90 has four subwoofer outputs that can be calibrated independently. Other than those differences, these units are very much alike, especially when it comes to their physical features, user interface, and the software. They operate identically, and I did not notice any differences in their usability or operation speed whatsoever. But let's have a look at how one of their main differences translates into the real world and that is the fact that the AVM90 has two more subwoofer outputs for calibration. Let's compare the base calibration between the two units and see who did better. But first, a full disclosure, when I did the measurements on the AVM70, it was an older version of the new Arc Genesis with auto phase adjust. When I took the measurements on the AVM90, there had been one update. Whether or not it was the update that translated to a different result, it's hard to say, but I wanted to make that clear. Because the AVM70 only has two subwoofer outputs, I had to put the two front on the same output using a Y splitter, and then the back RS2 was on the second output. So in this snapshot here, we can see the AVM70 results with the three RS2 subwoofers. It didn't prove the baseline response at the main listening position, but could still use some work. In this snapshot, we can see the Anthem AVM90 results. It did do a better job at the main listening position, but it still is far from perfect. Please do keep in mind though that my room is not yet treated and I do have a difficult room to calibrate. But what did we learn from this? Well, we learned that the AVM90 does do a better job with calibration, and I'm sure a good part of that is the four independent subwoofer outputs. Whether or not you as an individual can hear that difference, or whether it's important to you, is something only you can answer. Now, before we get into my thoughts on which I prefer and what differences did I notice, let's do some sound demos. So we are gonna do some sound demos as well as some music demos. I will label what you are hearing as you're hearing it on the screen. Each unit should be level matched the same as they are both using the same software to calibrate that, but I did confirm this with an SPL meter and some sound waves, what you are hearing should be level matched between the two units. As usual, before we play these demos, a real quick disclaimer, my recording equipment, my room, and the device that you're listening on will greatly affect the sound. So don't take this as an accurate depiction of what I was hearing in my room, but I wanna know which one you preferred and what you were hearing. So make sure to drop your comments down below after listening to these demos.
guys i hope that you enjoyed those demo comparisons but let me know which ones you preferred or what you heard down in the comments below so it's time for me to give you my impression of these two units without wasting any time of course the avm 90 sounds better it is much more expensive at about double the price so it should be much better but this is what i personally experienced when it came to their sound first let me say that the avm 70 does sound phenomenal uh, to me it did sound better than the marantz av 7706 that i had before i did make a video about that which i'll link in the top right hand corner of this video but the AVM70 really did impress me with its sonic clarity, channel separation, and detail. Uh, those are some of the things that I noticed when switching from the AV7706 to the AVM70. Then I switched from the AVM70 to the AVM90, and I heard those exact same things. The sonic clarity, channel separation, and detail were just plain better on the AVM90. I noticed it in all my speakers, including all of the surrounds and the height channels as well. With the Dolby Amaze demo, it really opened my eyes, or my ears, so to speak, because I could hear the rain from the height effects so much clearer and more noticeable that it was coming from above me than ever before. To put it simply, whatever speakers you are using, I would be bold enough to say it will make them more more detailed and increase their clarity a noticeable amount. And when listening to music, again, the AVM70 did do an amazing job, but the AVM90 is just better. Music just seems more light on its feet and it dances around the room with ease. It sounds more detailed and more nuanced than ever before. Uh, the AVM90 really is just as beneficial for movies as it is with music. In my review video on the AVM90, which is linked in the top right hand corner, I'd mentioned that it's probably the best unit for someone that loves music and movies because it does them both very well. And I feel like that just sums up the AVM90 perfectly. It just does everything very well. I know that a lot of you will want to know if the AVM90 is worth it over the AVM70 because of that cost difference. And that really is a tricky question to answer uh, because everyone has vastly different priorities. I can only answer that question from my perspective and experiences. For me personally, I feel it is worth it. I did get a noticeable upgrade with the AVM90 and it does sound better. But where it gets really tricky is whether or not the AVM90 is worth almost twice the cost of the AVM70. To answer that question, all I can really give is my opinion. If you have the budget and you want the best sound that Anthem has to offer, 
get the AVM90, hands down, because it is the flagship for a reason, it sounds the best. If you don't really have the budget and you want really good sound without breaking the bank, the AVM70 is a fantastic sounding processor that will not disappoint you. For example, if all of a sudden I had the need for some money and I had to sell the AVM90 and go back to the AVM70, it wouldn't really break my heart. They both are fantastic units. Yes, the AVM90 sounds better, but the AVM70 is still fantastic in all regards. But to sum it all up in a nice pretty package, yes, I prefer the AVM90, yes, it does have better sound, yes, it is better for both movies and music, and yes, I feel it's worth the extra cost, but it all depends on your budget, whether or not you would feel it's worth the extra cost. If you guys do have other questions, drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. Tick the bell icon if you do, and if you found this video helpful, please take just one short second to hit that like button. I always do appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel. I have a Patreon link down in the description below, or you can hit the join button or the thanks button right below this video. Remember to enjoy your systems. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.